So we have our HRUs defined. We're just about ready to go. We just need to set up the weather data. So if we go to Write Input Tables and choose Weather Stations, you'll see that we've got tabs for relative humidity, solar radiation, wind speed, temperature, and rainfall, all the important temp uh, uh, weather parameters that you would need to do modeling. And we also have a tab for weather generator data. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the monthly weather database and set this to WGEN US First Order. And the only reason I choose that is because that's the one they used in the workshop I went to. There are several options here. Now basically what this is is a database of weather stations. It looks like 1,041 weather stations spread over the U.S. And it, we have years of data for those weather stations. And so you have the minimum and maximum temperature for each day, for example, and the standard deviation of temperature. And the same thing for rainfall and, and all other weather parameters. All the data you would need if you wanted to simulate weather. Now I think you also can go to these tabs and you can specify particular sets of data. So for example rainfall we're going to leave this to simulation but you could load in other rain gauges or other data that you have if you have more specific weather data. So for example we have specific weather data for the Spring Lake area um, but we've only got a few years of it. So right now we're just going to use with simulation but understand that if you have more precise data or data uh, weather stations that are closer to your area you can use those or if you want to manipulate the weather data for example if you want to see what what is expected to happen if the temperatures rise over the next decade or 20 years you can do all that in the model too so if you look at all the other tabs temperature wind speed solar radiation relative humidity you see they all have the same options. You can either simulate or you can load in actual data. We're going to leave them all to simulation. And so we're going to simulate based upon this weather database. So we hit OK. And the processing is complete. So we can now hit an X and close this out. Realize that it's only going to use the most appropriate weather stations. So it's only going to use the weather stations that are near our geographic area. All right, well, we're set up. So now if we go back to write input tables, we can choose to write the SWOT input tables. And we get a new window that comes up. So basically, what we're going to do is based upon all of the parameters that we have now established, it's going to create a, a large number of input files and it's going to use these input files then when it runs the model and I think it's these input files that we can go in and we can manipulate if we want to change things again now we're getting into the area where I'm not really sure but you can see all the different input files and you can pretty much imagine what kind of information is in each one well we're going to need them all so let's select all and create tables now it asks do we want to use the weather database to calculate heat units to maturity and basically the model is going to use temperature and other and precipitation and it's going to model plant growth which is going to affect how much rainfall actually reaches the soil and so yes we want to do that do we want to rewrite the existing point source information uh, I'm guessing this is because I've run the model a couple times and so it's going to rewrite the information that's fine do we want to rewrite the existing uh, it's actually spelled wrong huh the exiting maybe it means exiting the PPI information yeah we want to do that too do we want to rewrite the existing reservoir information yep and then if you look at the status bar at the bottom you see that it's building these tables so it's making some very complicated files filled with parameters that the model is going to need. And once these tables are built, they're all going to be stored in the folder that you have your project in. And we'll be able to run the model.
So you see that we're done building the selected tables. Let's hit OK. We can close this out and we are ready to run the model.